Hey guys, look what, check out what I found. What I found out. Who said you need a stepper motor driver just to get it spinning? When I've got this thing. It's a tiny 30 watt amplifier. It's labeled 30 watt, um, 10 watt. Like, put it can't, I got it to output more. Eh. So it starts to rotate at about 72 hertz on a pure sine wave. Just to make let you know, I'm not cheating. Here's my speaker wires. And it goes right in there. See those red two red wires? It goes right in there. The power comes off all the way here then into that yellow sticker um ah outlet see and there's just my computer down there sorry Oh, anyways, I'm gonna have to put this camera down to start get it running. Oh wait, I can just do this. You'll see it spinning as soon as I turn on the amplifier. Power on. And there we go. It starts spinning. And when I stop it completely, it starts moving everywhere. See, it's rotating. And if I decrease the power a bit too far, it will start stalling. And when I drop it all the way down, it stops. When I start bringing it right, right up, my thermal cut out on me again. There. If I put it to full power, it starts spinning just fine. When I bring it a bit too low, it will start going crazy. And just to let you know again, this is a signal generator app. This is all I'm using. At 72 hertz. And the motor spins nicely. And it's a bit weak. Well, this one is strong. It's got high torque that it, it can even scrape my nails. So, yeah. There's something new that YouTube probably did not find out. You can use amplifiers as stepper motor drivers. And I'm using only one subwoofer cable. If I try it on Tweeter, it just stays still because Tweeter is too weak. It does not use amps, it uses more volts than amps. And there's it rotating my finger. And here's it if I keep it still. The center tap, I center tap my motor, as you can see. The middle wires are put together. And the two outside wires I cooked up, hooked up to straight to my subwoofer. Well, yeah, that's really much it. Bye.